All right. So, Stephen A., he's talking about Delhi's want to and a lot of credit going to Delhi for shutting down Steph Curry in game two. Uh, your reaction to Legler's analysis? Well, I, can, I completely agree with him. I think he's spot on. And, and you know, once again, I want to emphasize that Nobody's trying to take any credit away from Della Vadova. He's an overachiever. We understand that his skill set, his skill set is, is relatively limited, but he can defend. He's a tireless defender. He goes after it. He works very, very hard. He gets up in your face and what have you. And because of that, that makes him an absolute pest, which means that he's effective for any team that he's on. Um, and he's a nightmare for the opposition. We understand that. And then, but, but you also have to understand something. Uh, and this is just knowing the game of basketball. Basketball. When you are limited, what happens is, is that a lot about defense is effort. And there's no shortage of effort when it comes to Adela Vadova. When you are a Kobe or you are a LeBron or somebody and you can defend, what you also do is spy. Because what happens is you're not just defending a man, you're defending areas. You're making sure because you can see and you're a visionary. You know watching an offense, where the ball is going to go, who they may want to get the ball to, what they may be trying to do. So you cheat a little bit because you understand from a cerebral perspective what this team is trying to do at this particular moment. And your level of greatness allows you to sit there and spy. That's why Kobe, an MJ, a LeBron, people like that could be effective. Or even in the case of Allen Iverson. He was miniature, so he couldn't defend you straight up, but so much because he was a small dude. But his cat quickness, combined with his instincts, allowed him to take chances and steal because he knew that that's how he was going to be effective defensively. Matthew Della Vadova isn't that kind of guy. So what happens is you get a guy that's a pest, and he's allowed to be in your face, and you say energy, being the energizer bunny, being physical because he's a legit 6'3 and a half, 6'4. He's not a weakling. He's from Australia. He's got a background playing rugby and stuff like that. So he doesn't mind banging, doesn't mind getting physical, doesn't mind engaging in some of those tactics that, dare we say, today's players are relatively immune to because back in the day where it was a more physical brand of basketball in the NBA, okay, in this day and age, it's not like that. So it's one thing where every little ticky-tack foul gets called, but it's another thing if it doesn't. If it doesn't, it can really affect you as an offensive player because that guy is pestering you. And if Matthew Della Vadova deserves credit for anything, it's the fact that somehow, some way, he actually gets away with being in your face and being physical in today's brand of basketball. There's a skill, there's a skill that comes along with that that elevates him to being one of, dare I say, the premier defenders in this game. And he deserves credit for it. The reason why I think, the reason why I think, however... Skip, the reason why I think, however, you've got to pump the brakes with it is because unlike any other sport, if you're going up against a guy whose game is predicated on athleticism and elevation and playing above the rim, different ball game. But when you are going up against a shooter who can pull up from 30, it's very rare in the day, other than denying them the basketball, it's very rare in the day that a defender affects them. What affects them is not getting the basketball, but once they have the basketball, unless you're blocking their shot, it doesn't affect them. Mm. It's just whether their shot is falling or not. Steph Curry missed shots he normally makes under the duress that he would that was applied to him by Matthew Della Vadova mm -hmm. Steph Curry has made those shots against other people he just missed the other day okay, now time out I, you, you're, you're losing me did you just call Matthew Della Vadova one of the premier defenders in the league yeah yes. <laughs> Sir. So I think it was yesterday or maybe just the day before, you, you were pretty hard on him. Um, Skip I, I thought you gave him next to no Skip, credit, Skip, Skip and now he's... Uh, that's because you don't listen. I, okay. I, I think I listened it's a, too hard. It's okay. The, the, I think the, I heard you, it no, all. No, no, what you do is you give your opinion, and you're so fixated on it that anything that remotely deviates from it throws you a curve. But in the end, <laughs> what it comes down to is this. Like, don't, don't you and I both agree that Tony Allen is an elite defender? Tony Allen for the Memphis Grizzlies. One of the best. One of the best. Yeah. And for, for the first, when they lost games two and three to Memphis, mm -hmm. all right, we we said Golden State's in trouble. Now, Tony Allen getting hurt had a lot to do mm -hmm. with that. But what I said to you was, 
it, despite all of that, Steph Curry is one of those rare commodities where the defender is not going to affect him with anything other than denying him the ball. Once he has the ball, the shots that he takes, Skip, it doesn't matter whether somebody's in his face or not. I've seen well, Steph Curry. I've seen if Steph you're Curry. right in his face, it I've matters. Seen, I've seen, not if you don't block his shot, because I've seen Steph Curry right. with his eyes closed hit threes. That's okay. how good he is as a right. shooter. See, see what, what gets me is your, your respect that you're giving Delhi is grudging at best. You're, you're, you're sort of writing him off. You're undercutting as an overachiever when, in fact, I watch his feet. Those aren't overachievers' feet. Those are star defenders' feet that I'm seeing. And that's what Legler's – Legler had to go back and break it down, you know, sort of slide for slide. I'm going to look right. at this one. I'm going to freeze it. I'm going to freeze it. I'm going right. to freeze it. Right. And I'm seeing a guy who – on film study, Della Vadova, after the game the other night on Sports Center, talked about how much tape he watched of Steph before the finals started because they had all those days to get ready. Mm -hmm. He was beating Steph to his sweet spot yeah. with his head, and and again, that's that's it, that's borderline. I'm not going to call him a star yet, but he's he's a borderline star defender because I saw him do it against Derrick Rose, then I saw him do it against Jeff Teague, and now I'm seeing him do it against Steph Curry, and and again. You're right. He, he's listed at 6'4". I don't know if he's quite 6'4", but even though he doesn't look muscular, I think he packs a wallop. He is beating Steph to the screens and through the screens, and he's keeping that body on him, and he's wearing him down a little bit. And then he, it, it passed is too dismissive because he's getting there and getting a hand in his face before Steph can get comfortable to do a well, little flick shot. And, and again, can Steph go off and score 40? Sure he could tonight. He's the MVP of the league. He's the greatest shooter we have ever seen. That's what but, I'll tell but, you. But what the job that Delhi did on him this last game was pretty spectacular. And I'm going to give him spectacular. Because well, 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 that, that was but, something, but, 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 what, but what I'm saying to you is that it's very astute analysis on your part what you pointed out. Because what you're highlighting is what I'm trying to say. Of course you're a nightmare for a shooter if you deny them the ball. Mm -hmm. If they're not able to get the ball in the spots they want to or not at all. My problem is, is that you take it to the umph degree and act like if Steph Curry had the ball and Della Vadova's in his face, it's going to be a problem. I am saying to you that the tactics that Della Vadova utilizes in order to deny Steph Curry the ball until the shot clock is late or late in the shot clock mm -hmm. or uh, spots away from the places he wants to get the ball, that's a different ball game. But I am telling you, if Steve Kerr and those guys set enough picks and screens and mm -hmm. facilitate Steph mm -hmm. Curry getting the basketball, yep. and he's straight up with Della Vadova. I am telling you, he will eat that mm -hmm. boy alive. Okay, that's what I am okay. saying. You, let let, let to, me to clear. Eat him alive. Let you know what clear. he's going to have to do, and he said this after the game. Steph did. He's going to have to drive the basketball more because what Della Della Della, 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 Della Vadova. Vadova. I'll get it right. Yeah, yeah, Della Vadova. Della. Yeah, Delhi Trey. Thank you. Delhi Trey. You're not getting it right. Delhi. Delhi is beating him to the three-point line. He's playing for the three or the jump shot. He is daring him to drive the basketball. Is that what Steph does I, I, best? I, 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 I don't know. And I, Listen, and all I'm trying to do is differentiate and highlight the difference between a lockdown defender mm -hmm. and just a guy who's a smart defender. Yep. When I think of a Tony Allen, when I think about when a LeBron or a Kobe, yep. even a D. Wade or mm -hmm. somebody like I that, agree. lock down on mm -hmm. you. You have the ball. You're face to face with you them. Are. They low, They get lower center of gravity. They spread their arms. They're like, let's go. Mm -hmm. Me and you. I am saying to you, that ain't Della Vadova. No. <laughs> the Della Vadova that will deny the basketball and get you away from your sweet spots and does all mm -hmm. of this stuff. Ain't the dude that gets low center of gravity, spread his arms like, let's go. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm talking about LeBron and them saying, move the hell out the way. Mm -hmm. I got this dude. Got let's go. Sure. No, that ain't Della Vadova. Not against Steph Curry. He does that against Steph Curry. I'm going to tell you what my man Charles Barkley said. They said, get the limo. Mm -hmm. Make sure he gets to the game <laughs> because, because Curry going to eat him up. That's all I'm saying. Now, Tony Allen could do that. Tony Allen with, Martin, with Mike Conley Jr. They'll sit up there. Move. We got this. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
Delhi ain't that dude. Delhi's mm -hmm. good. Delhi's impressive. He, he ain't that dude. Pump the brakes. Mm -hmm. He ain't that dude. Okay. Not that. Not against Steph Curry. Okay, we saw what Steph did to LeBron late in the game. A little stop and go, a little step sure. back, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay, he's capable of doing that. Delhi is better at defending that kind of shot than LeBron is. Just don't. It's it's doing it with your head more. It's anticipating the move more. Now, what I did love about the tagline for Tim Legler, what we just saw. I'm with Tim. 48 hours worth of Steph Curry, the MVP, having to hear Delhi, 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 Delhi. And now we'll it. see yeah. what he'll bring I'm, I'm tonight. I'm telling y'all right now, yeah. Delhi don't Delhi don't get any help. Yeah. He try to play Steph straight up. If if, if Blatt and LeBron and those boys do that, Curry will drop 50 on them. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 y'all ain't playing. Y'all better, right better, better people better calm down. Mm -hmm. This is Steph Curry we talk about. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, we're holding court after the break. Curry's court. It's an opportunity for the fans to talk to Skip. And Stephen A, we're back in just a few moments. First take on the world at the Supper Club. First take is presented by Chase, celebrating small business. Learn more at missionmainstreetgrants.com. And in part by MMs. Movies are better with M. There's Golden State. There's Golden State and Cavs fans. You guys are bold right here. I get you guys. You really do. Keep it friendly. Keep it friendly. We understand. These guys need to be careful. Ladies, yeah. need to be careful. Cautious. Be, be kind to Proceed them. Proceed cautiously. Yeah. Um, as I was saying, you know, we love when people watch the show and send us some tweets. You guys know about Little B, right? You know the curse that Little B put on Kevin Durant mm. and James Harden, mm. which you think is kind of funny. Mm. He he also said, though, he said specifically that LeBron James, there was no curse. So mm. he's all straight, right? Everybody's good with LeBron. He just tweeted the show. He just wanted us to know that he really liked the Iman Shumpert video, and he wanted to see what you thought about it. Mm. What do you think? I, I just hope Little B doesn't put a curse on Delhi. Uh-oh. Right? What if he did? Yeah. He's not cooking yet? No. No. Oh, is that going to happen? Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about game three. Stephen A's like, I'm not a part of this. Mm. Uh, who, who who wins the game tonight, my friend? I'm picking Cleveland. I'm picking Cleveland. <laughs> oh, stop it. I, I really, I really, I really believe that, that, that game three is pivotal in this series. I think that you know, LeBron imploring the crowd in Cleveland to show up, to be raucous and noisy. I think that there's a need for that. He knows that his troops are going to need all the support that they can get because Golden State's going to be ready tonight. And I think that Cleveland's going to have to find a way to win. Keep in mind, Golden State is still the best team in this series. Cleveland just has the best player in the world. They will find a way to escape with tonight's game. And Iman mm. Shepard's got to show up offensively, too. Mm. Okay. I believe, in fact, I, I know that Golden State's going to win one of these two games in Cleveland, and I believe it will be tonight because I believe Steffi owes his team a game, and I think he will give his team back a game tonight. I got 100 to 98 visiting teams. Let tonight. me tell you what we owe you guys here in Cleveland. Another show. We'll be here at 3:30 this afternoon. Please join us, will you? We're going to be on ESPN. Bayless and Stephen A. Smith. I'm Carrie Champion. Thank you for watching again.